everybody. On today's Madge Unmuted, we take audience questions because we were fully unprepared and had Jack Squat to talk about this <laughs> week. So. Today on the show, Jack Squat. I love it when he's on. On today's Madge <laughs> Unmuted. everybody welcome to another episode of madge unmuted i'm your hostess madge madigan this is vaguely familiar hello <laughs> yes yes it is <laughs> and with me as always is fitz i'm in the dog house my producer i'm in the dog house <laughs> it's it's, it's it, it is happens. what it is. Mer- it happens. Murgatroyd is in retrograde. It's fucking Mercury retrograde. He can just bite my ass. That's what I'm telling you. Anyway. Is Mercury, Mercury a dude? Yeah. Oh, like the guy? The winged dude. The winged guy? The guy down, yeah. downtown? Well, not, yeah, um, oh, on okay. the top of the building. Okay. Um. Ow, that hurt. Anyway, I'm Madge Madigan. While you're here, subscribe and um, buy me a coffee. That's my virtual tip jar. Um, I need it more than ever because my rotator cuff surgery... <laughs> Is preventing me from working. Um, so I'll just beg for money on here. How's that? Okay, uh, with me. Well, at least you're providing a service for your begging oh, as opposed uh, to other people. Sh- sure. Okay. Right? I'll tell some jokes and I'll. Oh, jiggle. you're providing entertainment. Uh, yes. Don't yes. jiggle. <laughs> Although that has gotten me more followers on another platform. <laughs> That I'm not sure how I feel about, but um, <laughs> if you want to give me just the tip jar. <laughs> just the tip. Anyway, Scott Fitz, 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 Scott Fitzgerald, <laughs> Fitz, Rock Fox Studios. <laughs> you need some shit done. Are, do, are we recording? Yeah, podcasts, uh, <laughs> audio, <laughs> audio books. Recording. Odd, Video uh, production. Po- yes. That's done. Um, rockfoxstudios.com uh so it's we're having the day today uh i don't even want to rehash it because it's quite a day it's quite a day we've had all kinds of ow this is like i all of a sudden i'm getting like feel like i'm getting electrocuted for those don't know i had rotator cuff surgery seven weeks ago now and um people that know know that it's like the worst and it takes forever they told me and well i had this one done five years ago and it takes about nine months till you feel normal again so um yeah i can't even i'm supposed to not lift anything more than a pound so this is about all i can do (laughs) and um you know how the hell would you eat a sub i cut it into tiny bites oh you're so dainty (laughs) That's me. It's the first word that comes to mind whenever you think of match. <laughs> Dainty. <laughs> uh, and absorbent. I, what? I don't know. We did super a, absorbent. Super absorbent. Remember that episode? That was, we did a, it was like a season one. I somehow <laughs> titled it super absorbent Madge. I don't know why, but, um, oh, just an aside, when we had Todd on the show, mm-hmm. and I was, we were talking about, hunt, he's like, things that we should do, and he's like, 100th episode, and I was like, oh yeah, we did that. No, we haven't. <laughs> We've done like 58. I guess I was thinking 50 episodes, oh. not 100. So you got that to look forward to next season, people. When well, we I, could always like just make a big deal out of like the 57th episode or something. <laughs> we already had that. 64th how about 59 okay unless that's today let's do 69 oh god sorry i had to (laughs) i kind of like that voice though that was funny (laughs) can you do it again no i don't really want to do that voice oh my god it's kind of like speaking of numbers next week i'll be 57 wow you look good yeah. For your age, I I, you don't have a burp button. Oh, <laughs> <It's a cough laughs> just press the cough button. It'll know. <laughs> See, it's all this ginger ale that I've been drinking. Yes, and I don't want to go through the story again. But I had a, I believe I had a small bout of food poisoning this morning. 
Yeah, an hour and a half after eating a bowl of fresh berries. Quote, unquote, fresh. Fresh, yes, and quote, quote unquote, clean. Um, I projectile vomited everything fr- in, in every molecule of my body. <laughs> I vomited oh. up. And then I, I had those. to come out the other end, oh, too. So. Yeah, so I'm okay. Thanks for asking. I'm okay. Um, I'm just, you know, still... You, you know, after you get sick, you're still a little... Oh, yeah, a little woozy, a little not right there. You yeah. just kind of... Eh. You know what I want really bad to eat for dinner that is like my go-to when I'm either hungover or not feeling... Like when my tummy is... That's so, that's so dorky. My tummy. My, your belly. How old am I? Chinese food. Chinese. That yeah. rice. Just a gigantic bowl. But I usually get fried rice chicken or and broccoli. No, white rice. White rice. Oh. Yeah. Bland. No. <laughs> white rice. <laughs> <laughs> like, how dare you think of fried rice well, when you're talking about well, Chinese food? No. I got you. I was now, talking about because your stomach yeah, upset right. stomach and you and fried in the same sentence. <laughs> <Have you ever met? laughs> so anyway, while you're here, subscribe and shit, and give me some tips. Give me some money. Buy me a coffee at this address right here. Do you uh, have a link to buy you a new shoulder? <gasps> That's what buy me a coffee. I should change the thing. I it was I had I was doing Patreon and I ain't getting squat on Patreon. I, it's still there if you want to join my Patreon. I have never in like five years been able to get that off the ground to get anybody to do anything on that. It's tough. Know why? I don't. I don't know the the what voodoo I have to do. Um, <laughs> but you know, people now tend to like. I think it's they don't like the commitment. That's why the tip jar is just yeah like, I'll a one and done. Go- one and done. Oh yeah, yeah, they're feeling good. And oh, I'll give you twenty bucks. Fuck it. Yeah. But then they're like, "What do you mean? I got to sign up for month? Yeah. Like what? What do you do for me every month yeah. besides entertain me with this awesome podcast? Um. Yep. Once yeah. A week. That's about it. So today on social media, I asked my friends and followers, friends and foes, uh, to ask me questions for my podcast. So that we had something to do today. <laughs> I'm telling Thank you, this God. Mercury fucking retrograde. I have guests cancel. I have food poisoning. I just, things not record. <laughs> just, like, just having a 20-minute conversation for the fun of it. <laughs> That's bonus footage. <laughs> There's no footage. I mean, that's right. There's bonus, uh, it's bonus, bonus audio. audio. It's a bonus track. <laughs> we should just take two pictures of us and put it up there for that part of the episode. You know what? I tried that before. Remember when I had the kids on and like the video wasn't working for the first part and yeah. I like just, I like just posted all these like stills and then whatever we were talking about like mentioned something about new york i show a map of new york yeah that was the most time consuming <laughs> thing and it was i and and i was looking at the statistics on on youtube it wasn't worth it it, well, it tells you how far people listen yeah where they drop off where, yeah Ooh, they dropped off right away on that one. <laughs> like, well, I'm not putting any energy into this dog wanna, shit. Exactly. We don't want to look at your fucking PowerPoint presentation, Madge. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's pretty much what it was. We could do sock puppets. That would be fun. Uh, so anyway, I asked for questions on social media. And this is what I got. <laughs> I just, you know, I said within reason. Let's keep it clean, folks. Um, so... First one, my friend Todd says, gazpacho, yes or no? <laughs> Not if it's the kind of gazpacho Marjorie Taylor Greene was talking about. The gazpacho you that police? One, the gazpacho police, yeah. She's a fucking rocket scientist, <laughs> I'm telling you. Did you hear the one this week about she's got Bill Gates growing fake burgers in a peach tree dish? <laughs> Look that one up, and she's bitching about the government. Bill Gates, the government, they're going to grow, and then they're going to find out what you're doing and zap you if you're not eating the right things and your bowel movements. Literally, she talked about she, people's bowel movements. So, wait, so two things. 
Bill Gates is has nothing to do with the government. I don't know. He's not the government. But conversely, you are, Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly enough. I know. Amazingly, you are the part of the government. Is she like a deep fake of Sarah Palin? Like she's actually Sarah Palin, but I think so. Let's start that one. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Let's start that one. <laughs> you know what? Can I? This is going to be controversial, <gasps> and I may edit it. But I'm sorry. She is such a moron that, and that she says stupid shit like that. And but anyway, the fact that these idiotic people are still in power in, in office but then they that madison cawthorn idiot didn't win his primary because being stupid is okay but if you do some things that are a little homosexualish, oh yeah we gotta get you out and the irony of that, that is, makes me is, sick is is so many of those uh bible thumping you know right when guys are very gay or eventually they're caught girl you don't you have know, to tell me i have smoking meth with a male prostitute in a bathroom and every Utah. time i'm telling you thou dost protest too much and every time <laughs> yes the, anybody who screams and hollers and something 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 about something it's usually because they're doing that too that's why i always say <laughs> Gentlemen, don't get caught Start in the engine. devil's vagina. <laughs> in the, uh, okay, I don't even know where to go with that. Um, Down. In the ass? Ooh, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the devil's vagina. A butt. I had some evil coming out of my devil's <laughs> vagina. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> I got demons running all through me. They came out right there. Oh, seriously. I had demons. Uh, okay, so gazpa actually I really like gazpacho. That's a <laughs> cold that's a cold soup. I've never had soup. gazpacho. Uh what is it? Is it just like Oh, it's really good. It's basically it's like salsa. It's like no, a bowl of it's more of a puree. Um oh, okay. it's tomato based. Um it just it's cold like cold kind of um grainy tomato soup. Mm. It's very good. I love it. Okay. I will um, take your word for it. Oh, look, John and I were somewhere, and I was in Buffalo, and we ordered a couple things. We got a, a bowl of gazpacho for one of the starters, and they put crumbled egg on top of it. Ew. Yeah, well, like, you completely ruined this. I've never seen this in my life. I've had gazpacho... A hundred times, and usually, sometimes they'll just make a, like a pretty drizzle of like um, sour cream yeah. or whatever. The crumbled egg does that mean like it was uh, hard boiled? Oh, oh yeah, or? I'm sorry, it was a hard boiled egg that apparently. Oh, and I just just the I think just the yolk. I don't know. We just kind of like pushed it to the <laughs> side because it was gross. But anyway, yeah, I like gazpacho. I'm not going to answer that question. Uh, silk or cotton? Cotton. Cotton. I like, I need absorbency at this point in my life. <laughs> <laughs> silk, you know, you can have accidents. Silk can make you slip. Slit, slide right out of bed. We're in silk. Slip right out of bed. Slip, slip, and slip and slide and right out of bed. That's not good for an old woman like me. I wouldn't say you're old. I know. I'm kidding. I'm not. I'll turn 57 next week. Have I mentioned that yet? You did. Oh, okay. I'll mention it every Twice, time. but they only know of once. <laughs> <laughs> um, horror movies. Hate them. It's hard like to them. find a good one. I don't like them at all. I don't like yeah. being startled. What is, what is your, what's your go-to? You, you take, I take you as a kind of a comedy person. Like you like the comedies. I like comedy, but I also, um, like I'm a big, like Wes Anderson. Oh yeah. Quirky. Yeah. Weird shit. Yeah. That's my. Indie. Yeah. 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 But I, you know, comedy is good. I'm like, but I'm also like a huge documentary person. Oh, don't even get me started. Yeah. Speaking of that, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Later this evening, 
a, a show I've been waiting for started streaming today on Hulu, and I cannot wait. What it's called? Pistol. Pistol. What's that? It's about the sex pistols. Oh, yeah, that's totally six that's part totally up for that's your that's your thing on the sex pistols. It's not a house. documentary. It's a it's a biopic or a bio uh, uh, it's just, you know, series. It's a pantomime. <laughs> Yeah, it's a short little series, and it's based off a lot of um, Steve Jones's book uh, called Lonely Boy, which I read a couple of years ago, and I loved it. It was a bit, it was kind of disturbing, but it was real. I mean, you know. Did you see the dirt? The dirt. It was a, it was a movie um, oh, about no. uh, about um, Motley Crue. When oh, they I first read the got, book. Did you read I didn't the book? see the movie. Yeah, I read the book. I borrowed that from somebody. God, that was a while ago. That's probably a good ten years ago. Did you see the movie? Yeah. With, uh, there was this scene where, what was it? Uh, Ozzy Osbourne was sitting there doing lines of ants. Oh yeah. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. The song "Dude Looks Like a Lady" was written about Vince Neil. Really? Yeah. Steven Tyler saw Vince Neil from behind and thought it was a chick, and then he turned around. That's funny. And that's where "Dude Look Looks Like a Lady" came from. Thank you, Vince Neil, for that <laughs> great music. Okay, so what do you do? Oh, my friend Yuri says MySpace or Facebook. MySpace by a mile. Facebook sucks now. Sorry. Now watch. You know, I, I just gotten into Facebook, or sorry, into, into MySpace, and then Facebook happened. I started on MySpace in like 2004, 2005, yeah. and, and a bunch of us, we had blogs and it was a very interactive um you know you got followers and then people would comment and then it was just an ongoing discussion and it wasn't all this well once in a while you had some assholes but mostly in my with my circle of friends it was just weird quirky jokes yeah it was just you like know joke it was after joke after joke before and it, the invention of the troll <sighs> well they started back then but they weren't but, as yeah. prolific mm -hmm. you know there was a couple of jerk offs here and there, but I don't remember one comment ever about politics back then. No, or anything. I mean, you know, that's because George W. Bush was in office, <laughs> <laughs> so they really didn't have much to say. <laughs> but anyway, no, MySpace. We had because you had your own communities, and you and you stuck to that. Yeah, and and and. I don't know. I just enjoyed it more. And people were cooler now. This is all lame shit on Facebook. But I really need you to follow me on Facebook. Preach. <laughs> and watch my podcast. <laughs> oh, God. There's a couple. This one guy has written like eight questions. And I really don't want to answer some of them. Um, cat or dog. I don't know. Both. Whatever. Okay. Oh, my sister Kathy. Um brought up one i don't know if I, she said she's a retired teacher she said if if teachers can't be trusted to pick books why why can we be trusted to carry guns yeah i mean i, I have so much to say but i just don't want to go down that road because you know keep it my space what keep it my space match <laughs> Uh, my friend Bob, Bob Rush, one of our uh, hey Bob repeat offenders. I mean guests. Jaws compadre. <laughs> oh yes, right. I'm gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> he said, "Is it a seller's or buyer's market in real estate?" Oh, it's a seller's market. It's still a seller's yeah. market. It's gotten a little bit better, but um, yeah, people that don't know, you gotta jump on shit and you gotta offer more than more than asking at this point. And that's all I got to say about that. Okay, here's an interesting. Tamara said, what's it like to be a redhead? I don't know what it's not like to be a redhead. <laughs> have you ever have you ever dyed your hair a different color other than Halloween? No. You've always been a redhead? Yeah. Well, I've been a darker redhead. Right. But I've never been anything other than um, a redhead. So, and then she says, did you get teased in school? Uh, 
Yes, but it's here's a funny thing. I refused to believe that I was a redhead in the early years of my life. What? I had darker a darker red more you know, a little more auburn. Um but like if you see my pictures, I very it, I had very red hair and I was in complete denial because I thought anybody that had red hair was like that only redheads were like the Scottish wiry orange hair like Ronald McDonald freckles uh and more like Burger King um so yeah and I'm like I'm not a redhead but then my boyfriend in high school started calling me red I'm like what the fuck are you talking about and so yeah, I was so when it started to go gray, I just, I just pumped it up a little bit. Just <laughs> um, kicked up the saturation I, a I bit. Did yeah. So she says, "Do men flirt more with you?" Um, more than what? Yeah, um, it's kind of hard to to gauge. Yeah. Um, if you spent half of your life as a different uh, hair color, then then you could I'll, compare. I'll, I'll tell you what they do. Yeah, I'll get I. I get lots of comments about my hair as I, as opposed to like, I don't, a guy would flirt with a brunette and say, Ooh, look at you brunette. <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? So yeah, I, don't yeah I get, I've gotten more attention from my red hair. Does that sound? So, however, though, there's a lot, a lot of men that have some kind of weird attractions to redheads mm -hmm. and usually guys that have an attraction to redheads it's like kind of aggressive oh really yeah i i, I don't know why that is i don't like know. they're freaks for redheads like give me that redhead now in their head they say that yeah i've i've they've been oh god you know oh my god i want to marry oh god i love redheads and it, i've had i mean guys sit there and stare at me and they're like oh my god i just love your hair as i'm trying to have a conversation and then and then they'll say i don't know there's this weird you need to stop hanging out with some of these jerk offs well no these i don't it's like people i just talk to in public you know i was like making small talk I, how do you do that i would never just making small talk to someone i don't know to go oh my god i love your hair <laughs> that's what i get though although i do get it's nice when i'll get women they're like oh i love your hair color well that's different well, no, that's nice. I appreciate yeah, yeah, that that's, because that's women don't always comment, uh, don't always compliment each other. A lot. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of that. Um, so yeah, the, like when I was doing online dating, you know, before this, um, <laughs> when I was doing, you know, guys, yeah, they would like before glom this. onto the redhead thing and then not let it go and and then just i don't know why they feel how do i say this? Do you get they, feel, the, they feel like it's their right to be creepy with you do you get the drapes comment a lot oh yeah. yeah i've you know i say no i have linoleum <laughs> flooring it's that's always been my i have laminate fun. floors yeah. yeah exactly you know Honestly, guys don't really say that much anymore because most women don't have. You're right. You know, shaving has become in vogue. Yeah. Uh, so that's not really a thing. But yeah, I used to get that, and I was, I always loved my laminate flooring, parquet flooring, <laughs> pergo <laughs> linoleum. When I was, <laughs> I got marble, I all have... marble down there. <laughs> it's terrazzo. What's the? What's the? <laughs> it's epoxy. Epoxy. <laughs> Okay, alrighty then. There so, you go. But yeah, I don't. I don't know why men feel they can say anything they want to a redhead. You know, it's, I don't know. It's like I'm somehow like I'm a hooker if I'm a redhead or <laughs> some weird shit. I don't know. I do love though when an older gentleman will say that I look like Maureen O'Hara. Okay. Which I know I don't really. It's just the red hair and the green eyes, but that makes me happy because she was. Sure. You know. Anyway. All right. There was more to this question. Um, in the UK, they call. Oh, yeah. 
In the, well, yeah, I know. In the UK, they call redheads gingers and treat them like they're inferior. Yep, experienced that. Have you ever have you ever experienced that? I sure have. You have no soul, apparently. Yep, I'm a freak. I'm a day walker. And uh, she said, "By the way, I love your hair. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that." Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what people you know think it gives them carte blanche. I told I told you on our last time around about I got after I posted two pictures of me in a bathing suit on TikTok two <laughs> videos and I've my my um following is suddenly grown <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. So I do this thing I used to call it outfit of the day and but now all the kids are calling it fit check which means you're talking about your outfit 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 gotcha. check out my outfit checking in on my outfit fit check so i did that and i thought it was funny i was at at the lake and i was wearing a bikini with a caftan and the caftan was of course wrapped tightly around my stomach so no one saw my big old fat hanging over and i made a joke i said oh hey um fit check uh but it's not my outfit that's the uh, that's the whatever beautiful it's the view or the best thing out here it's the view and i panned to the lake that you see from the deck and it was a gorgeous sunny day blah 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 and um somehow that <laughs> brought in some viewers so anyway my friend bruce says in the last video you showed us your view of lake ontario it was beautiful of course but you were too what are the odds of getting to see you wear that in another video Slim to none. <laughs> and Slim just left town. I don't know. You know, if y'all want to see a 57-year-old woman in a two-piece bathing suit, you gotta give me money! <laughs> it's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you. Maybe it's time to go to that OnlyFans. No, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm torn on that whole thing. I mean, wanting to, you know, being sexy, showing things, but then being embarrassed by it. Yeah. I mean, it must be that Catholic thing. Oh, yeah. Yep. You think? Mm-hmm. 100%. Well, everybody, uh, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Match Unmuted. Fitz, Hi. thank you very much. Fitz, rockfox.com, Rockfox Studios. If you need something recorded or whatever, Fitz can help you. Reach out on rawfox.com. Me, Madge, uh, please subscribe while you're here. Buy me a coffee if you like. Um, and uh, follow me on everything humanly possible. Madge <laughs> Madigan. <laughs> Except from the car. Don't follow her yeah, down no, the street. Don't good. follow her home. No. Okay, thanks so much. We'll see you next week on Madge Unmuted. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.